Hi friends, it's Miss Jamie from Green Hill bringing you a Masterpiece Friday looking at art video. This week we are going to look at the work of North Carolina artist Katie Mixon and learn two important art words, texture and pattern. Let's go! Here is the first work of art. Let's start by describing what we see. What do you think she used to make this work of art? If you said paint, you were right. Let's take a closer look at this painting. What colors do you see? Look closely. I see yellow and red and a little bit of blue. She makes these paintings by creating layers. The bottom layer looks like it has the red and the blue. She covered that layer with yellow and then she used a tool to scrape into it. When she scrapes or carves the top layer, it reveals the colors underneath. If you were to run your hand over this, which of course we know is the number one thing we can't do in an art gallery, right? You would be able to feel each one of the carved marks in the painting. I think it would feel bumpy. What do you think it would feel like? When we use words to talk about the way something feels, we are describing its texture. Can you think of some words we use to describe texture? I thought of bumpy, smooth, rough, fuzzy. Those are all texture words. Words we use to describe the way something feels. Can you think of some more texture words? Let's look at one more work of art by Katie Mixon. This is a quilt that Katie made out of the cloth rags she uses to clean up when she is painting. She said she used to throw them away but loved the color so much she decided to use them to make quilts. Let's talk about pattern. When we use pattern in art, we repeat a color, shape, line, or other art element. What do you see that is repeated over and over again? I see shapes, squares repeated over and over again. If we look closely at the squares, we see that they are made up of other shapes. What shapes do you see? I see triangles and I also see rectangles. By using these shapes over and over again, Katie Mixon has created an overall pattern in this work of art. Look and see if you can find other patterns around you. Patterns are everywhere! Thanks for looking at art with me today. Bye-bye!